Okay, we have here on the board an interesting problem with the Lambert W function. We're given that the Lambert W of x is going to be equal to natural log of x cubed, and we're just going to want to solve this equation for x. Over to the right, we've got a couple of useful formulas for the Lambert W function. This one is probably the most important one, that if we've got something and we take the Lambert W function on it, if we have the same coefficient and exponent on around an e, we just pull out the x. And I think in this video, this second one could be useful as well. If we can get something in this form again, we can get back the x. Now, if you need some more information on the Lambert W function, I have a couple of playlists on this. We have some information on the website. So I'll provide links for all this so you can look into some more on this. So to get started with it, I think we'll use this first formula. There is a couple ways to do it. We could probably use like the definition of natural log to rearrange this, but let's do it a different way. If we have something in this form, we get back the x. If I create something like Lambert W of x cubed, just using this, and we set it up like this, well, in this, we've got the same coefficient, the same exponent, so this we know is gonna be ln x cubed. So what I can do for the right side of our equation is I can replace it with all this right here. So doing that, we'll keep the left-hand side of the equation, and then we'll have all this stuff here. But then with two equations with the Lambert W function, I think one thing on this is we need to assume that we're dealing with positive values so that we don't get multiple values of the Lambert W function. The Lambert W function gets a little complicated for negative values, but with the natural log, we're going to need that anyway, especially with a cube. So let's say we're going to have x greater than 0. And then what we can do here is we can just say our input here, x, is going to be equal to all this stuff on the right side. And then next, we can rearrange this first log properties. Take the 3 out front. So we can write this as 3 ln x. Here with natural log and the exponents, we can kind of essentially cancel this and just create this like x cubed. Then what I want to do here is let's just divide off the x on both sides. That way we're consolidating what's going on here. The left, the left side, this is just going to become a 1. Over here, we can write this as x squared. So we'll clean it up. We'll have 1 equal to 3 ln x. For x squared, I actually want to kind of reverse what we did. Because you know, we have this property that for if we have a, we can write it as e ln a. So for x squared, I want to just do that. I want to write x squared as e ln x squared. And then... What we'll do is use the, um, we use log properties again here, and we'll write it as e to ln x. So we'll take that, plug that in for the x squared, and we have e to ln x. And just notice we're really close to being able to use our formula again, because our coefficient and exponent are almost the same. So in order to make this work, I want, see, I want this to be a 2, not a 3, right, to match with this. The way we can do it is, let's multiply in by two-thirds, do the same thing on the left side, multiply by two-thirds. This one is going to cancel with this. So let me make a little space, and we'll see what we have. We're going to have just the left side of the equation, we're going to have two-thirds, then we we're going to be multiplying in the two, so the whole right side is going to become two, ln x, e, two, ln x. Now we're ready for the Lambert W. We've got the matching coefficient and exponent, so we'll apply this. We'll take the function on both sides, just like this. When we apply it on the right, the x pops out, which is just this piece right here. So we'll kind of rearrange this, but we're gonna have, we're gonna have two ln x equal to Lambert W of two thirds. Now I can divide off this two, and we'll divide off on both, we'll divide on both sides so that we're trying to isolate our x. So this is just going to become Lambert W two thirds over two. Log properties here, solving for x, we get x is going to be equal to e Lambert W two thirds over two. But I can rewrite this a little different way because we have like we can think of this as we can split this up and think of it as this Lambert W exponent times a one-half power. And so really the way I want to see this is, let's write it all under, because we have a one-half power, let's write it all under square root. So for my final solution, we get square root of E Lambert W two-thirds, and that's it.
So then from here, the only question on this is, what is this as a decimal value and are there multiple solutions? Well, let me deal with multiple solutions really quick. The multiple solutions is gonna be easy to answer just looking at a graph, a very rough graph of the Lambert W, which looks something like this. We can just evaluate this based on what it were, just based on where our X values are. Now, this value right here is minus one over E, something like minus 0 0.366. So if you're out here way in the negative area, you don't have a real solution. But we don't have to worry about that. This is clearly two thirds is clearly positive. Also, we don't have to worry about this negative situation, which will give us two solutions. We have to create a second branch of the Lambert W function. You can't have a function with two values coming out of it. But, but we don't have to worry about that either. Two thirds again is positive. We can graph it in somewhere here. So we're only gonna have one real solution on this. So we just need to worry about what's this. You can actually write this E to the Lambert W two thirds a couple of different ways because you could kind of put it in this form. If I multiply in, See, I could do this. I could multiply in by this over this, multiplying by one. And then we have this other stuff here. This isn't really necessary. I'm just showing this if you're wondering. So then using the formula here, we just get back this input. So we can actually write this as two thirds over Lambert W. If you want a different way to calculate it, if you're using Wolfram Alpha or something, you could put this in inside the square root of course, right? So anyway, I didn't calculate this in advance, but I'll put up on the screen what the value for this thing or this thing is on Wolfram Alpha. But again, only one solution. This thing is clearly gonna be positive. It's gonna be somewhere in here, whatever that is. Over two thirds, take the square root and you're gonna have some kind of decimal answer for this thing. And that's gonna be a good way to approximate it. And that's about as good as you can do on this one. You also, from looking at it, you can kind of see the general form of these. If you did this as an exponent of n, I think n has to be greater than one or at least greater than zero. You'd have some kind of formula like, I think the n minus one root of e w n minus one. I'm just doing this from memory. Something like that would be your general, your general form for a problem like this. Okay, interesting case of the Lambert W. Hopefully that was helpful for everyone. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.